Hi everyone! In this video, I am going to be drawing this blue and green dahlia using colored pencils. For this project, I was working on a new Legion Stonehenge artist panel. These panels are Stonehenge drawing papers that has been attached to an aluminum backing and this creates a rigid surface that works great for my color pencil artwork. I have never used a product quite like this before and if you like the idea of a drawing paper with a sturdy backing, you should definitely check this out. To get started, I will typically trace an outline directly onto my paper, but because this product is not see-through, tracing was not an option for me. Instead, I placed my reference image on top of the surface and indented around the edges of the petals of the reference using an embossing tool. I could then fill in around the embossed areas with my pencils. The indented markings also serve to create a distinct separation between each of the petals on this flower. Moving on to the actual drawing, I was working with Prismacolor, Polychromos, Caran d'Ache Luminance, Derwent Lightfast, and Holbein pencils. Since this is a new product I was testing out, I wanted to see how the different brands would work on the surface. What I found was that the result was very similar to what I would expect with regular Stonehenge paper. Dahlias are a lot of fun to draw and perfect for beginners. I decided not to overcomplicate this one. I simply worked around the flower, filling in the petals with whichever color I could see in my reference image. I used a lot of dark indigo from Derwent Lightfast in the blue shadow areas and dark sap green from Luminance in the green shadows. I used mostly cooler blues leaning toward turquoise and some bright greens like grass green. In the brightest petals, I used chartreuse and yellow chartreuse, but any combination of blues and greens that look pretty on a palette are going to work nicely here. As I'm working my way around this drawing, you can see where the indented lines that I created using the stylus, like I showed you at the beginning of the video, you can see how those are popping out. It's just a really easy way to work. If you look closely, you can actually see the indentations. I can see those indentations pretty easily in person on the panels. They're a little bit harder to see in the video. But in person, I can see them really easily and work around them. And sometimes I'll just draw right over them to reveal that line and get that nice crisp edge. And then I can adjust the colors afterwards. And I will just let you watch as I work my way around this drawing.
When I got to the center, you just saw me add a really light layer of blue, and then I'm coming around with my white pencil to really burnish that white in and protect the paper so I can reveal some nice bright white highlights there after I blend with solvent. Then I'm coming around and darkening the shadows using one of my darker blues from Derwent. This technique will only work if I have used that indenting method to start off with. Otherwise, I would need to be a lot more careful in drawing each of those individual petals. I'm just going to come back around and adjust a few of the colors and values before I go ahead and blend out with my solvent. For this drawing, I was using Utrecht Nude Odorless Paint Thinner, and you see me blending the pencil out using a Dynasty Number no. 4 flat. That's just a inexpensive watercolor brush. You're going to want to look for a brush that has fairly firm bristles. You don't want anything too floppy because you want to get in there and really dissolve the pigment. But this blending process is a part of the technique and process that I use in all of my drawings, no matter what type of paper I'm working on. And you can see it just creates a really nice smooth base. I like to give the solvent a few minutes to dry before I come back through with my second layers of pencil. But looking at this now, this is definitely not finished. There are a few adjustments that need to be made. I like to go back over the entire drawing to adjust the colors, deepen the values, brighten the highlights, and definitely sharpen up the edges. In this drawing, it was just really important for me to pay particular attention to the edges around these petals. I want them to be distinct so that each petal is separate. So I like to use a really nice sharp pencil to go around and clean those edges up. I don't want anything to look smudgy or messy. And it's important to just really take your time going back over each petal, look back and forth between your drawing and the reference image and make sure everything matches up nicely. This step in the process is usually a lot easier than the first layers because everything's all completely mapped out for me and I'm just wanting to go through and make everything look nice and smooth. And here, once again, is my completed drawing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it went way too fast and you would like to draw this yourself, I have a tutorial over on Patreon that you can check out. Otherwise, I am happy to answer questions in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.